All right, hello everybody. Can you hear me okay? Yes? All right, great to meet everyone. I'm Joanna Yang, as Murray Perk gave the introduction to. I'm a current junior at Penn studying stats and finance and also submatriculating to the DATS program here at Penn. So at Penn, I'm also the president of the Wharton Analytics Fellows, which is a group at Penn that brings together MBAs, MSCs, and undergraduate students together to consult on different data science uh, various questions for a variety of companies every semester. So I'll be presenting a shortened version of one of my final presentations, specifically with our client McDonald's on their complaint data analysis. No? Perfect. This is my lovely team. I worked with Yang Tang, Alyssa, Jeffrey, and Tian Tian, where I held the role of a senior technical analyst. So to kind of set the scene a little bit, my team received a data set of customer complaints from McDonald's, specifically like these, on various issues at various times. And we were faced with one major business question. How can we possibly derive any sort of business insight from customer complaints like this one? And is there a way to do this process quantitatively? We settled on three major modeling techniques. First, sentiment analysis, which is looking forward to see if a complaint is positive, negative, and by how much. Next, keyword extraction, which is simply just extracting keywords and their respective relevancy scores to kind of summarize a complaint in just a few words. And finally, topic modeling, which is looking through the entire data set of complaints, looking through the major topics that we can possibly find, and assigning every complaint a probability that it would fall under every topic. So to kind of step back for a little bit, in the big picture, what we're doing here is we're taking existing complaint data. Then we're filtering that into this developed algorithm with the three different modeling techniques. Hopefully, with this algorithm, we'll take in new customer complaints to be able to A, classify them better on the back end in the database, and B, also be able to track different KPIs and metrics in a dashboard for future application. So first for agenda, let's first dive into our first model of the day, which is keyword extraction. So keyword extraction is a technique used to automatically extract the most relevant keywords and phrases from text to summarize the content in just a few major words. The specific model that we were using was called BERT, or Bidirectional Encoder Representations from Transformations. How BERT works is essentially like this. It takes in a passage, in this case usually a complaint, and it breaks it down into n-grams or phrases as possible candidate keywords. For each of these possible candidate keywords, it then computes two different scores. First being a relevancy score, which kind of scores how similar that keyword is to the entire complaint as a whole. Next, a diversity score, which shows how diverse that specific keyword is to other keywords that have been generated, and it tries to maximize both of these scores. So for any complaint that is inputted into BERT, BERT then releases a different list of different keywords as well as their respective relevancy scores. So here we ran BERT on the entire data set and received the following top 10 key phrases, including McDonald Global Mobile, points, missing, forgot, etc. And so here we arrive at our first key insight, that the bulk of these complaints, the bulk of everything that we see within this data set, is mostly centered on the mobile app, order completeness, and points and charges, rather than things like food quality, service, or speed. So it's important to know that this doesn't imply that food service or quality isn't a big issue. Rather, it's simply saying that customers are becoming unsatisfied even before the entire ordering process is completed. So our recommendation that on this end is for McDonald's to look into its app design and mobile points process to kind of quickly improve the performance and address the bulk of these complaints. In terms of clarifications, missing refers to both missing items and points. Wrong refers to both wrong charges and wrong order. Next, we'll look into sentiment analysis. As we all probably know, sentiment analysis is by far the most popular, well-known NLP technique out there. It's essentially just looking into whether a comment is positive, negative, and by how much, as we've seen in a couple of um, examples up here before. And so the business application for this is that this can be used as a quantifiable metric for McDonald's to be able to track some sort of metric and see dips in the data and say, oh, you know, was there a problem here? What happened? To have some sort of dashboard to keep track of their, um, their progress. So in terms of the specific model that we'll be using for sentiment analysis, we're using Vader which stands for Valence Aware Dictionary and Sentiment Reasoner, which you can see an example here on the bottom right-hand table. So here we're kind of just taking in words, seeing if they're negative, positive,
sensitive, by how much. Unfortunately, it doesn't do too well with uh, sarcasm or complex structure, as well as grammatical or spelling mistakes, which do happen quite often in complaints when people are angry. But nonetheless, we do use it to find these examples. And so for sentiment analysis, the table on the left-hand side, or this graphic, shows that the sentiment is most positive in July and hovers around zero for the other uh, months within the study. On the right-hand side, we have a week-by-week -week basis in which we look at every weekday. And we find that sentiment analysis tends to be the most negative on the weekends and the most positive on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So next for topic modeling. So we've kind of gone through this before in a previous presentation, but for topic modeling, it's a technique that scans through the entire document and sees how phrases and words co-occur to create clusters of words or topics that kind of summarize the entire passage as a whole. So the specific model that we'll be using here is latent Dirichlet allocation, or LDA. And how LDA works is kind of like this. It takes in the entire data set and then uh, confirms seven different topics that summarize the entire data set. So for example, topic one has to do with app-related things like points or the reward systems. And the top words associated with this topic are point, app, time, code, et cetera. After establishing these seven major topics, LDA then goes through and for every single complaint gives a score that represents a probability that that complaint falls under that topic for every topic. So this means seven extra scores within the data set that we can use. So the business application for this process is that it can really aid complaint classification. How McDonald's currently does this on the back end in the status quo is they have a worker do it manually. The worker reads the complaint or listens to the complaint and then manually decides what category they believe it should fall under. And of course, this leads to human error or different judgment calls from person to person. Using LDA, we have an automatic process to automatically characterize and categorize where each of these complaints go, based off the exact probability of the topic that they might fall under. And so after using these three models, we've created a variety of different business insights, as well as a variety of quantitative data that we've created based off the original customer complaints. In this next step with k-means clustering, which is kind of like an unsupervised machine learning model to cluster together groups um, just automatically, we bring together all of the quantitative data that we've created into this. So we create a data set in which we have every single row corresponding to a different customer to create groups of customer profiles for McDonald's to use to create complaint playbooks and whatnot. So a couple of the features that we use include frequency, which is the amount of times that that specific customer has logged a complaint, recency, which is how recently that customer has logged a complaint, and keywords and topic scores, which we mentioned earlier, generated by those three models. After running the clustering algorithm, we arrive on the right-hand side, where we have three distinct clusters, first being digital, second being product purchasing, and third being a simple general McDonald's complaint cluster. And so here on the right-hand side, you can kind of see some keywords for every cluster. Digital, of course, has to do with login, activating, passwords, emails, et cetera. Product purchasing has to do with fries, pies, egg, et cetera, as well as different financial issues like charge reimbursement. McDonald tends to have to do with the entire McDonald's complaint of the brand as a whole. And so we can see here that some of these items aren't too actionable in comparison to others. So for example, that first graph there on the top left shows the McDonald's graphic. And so this isn't too actionable. It's simply the machine learning model pulling that, oh, there are a lot of complaints that reference the word McDonald's. But on the right top corner, we have a graph that shows the other two clusters. So on the y-axis there, that's the topic drive-through speed. So essentially, the higher the score there, the higher the probability that that customer logs a complaint under the topic drive through speed. So there, the green cluster corresponds to product purchasing. So we see the higher scores within the green cluster leads to higher scores in terms of the probability that it falls under drive through speed, which makes sense as the product purchasing cluster does have to do more with the drive through and speed. Then on the x-axis there, we've got the topic points reward, which is a similar probability score that the, the customer has a complaint logged under the topic points reward. So of course, for the digital cluster, which is the red cluster you see there, there are higher scores as digital corresponds more to points reward, et cetera. 
So after running these four different models, we've arrived at a variety of different business complaints or business insights, which we'll summarize in the next slide. I apologize, this is a little bit text heavy, but really all we're saying is that keyword extraction means that we can extract key phrases. We recommend on this point that McDonald's should tackle the most frequent complaints, specifically about app and about the point um, charges. For sentiment analysis, we found a way to kind of quantify these customer complaints and put it into a database on the back end. For topic modeling, we conducted opinion mining, found the top seven topics that customers are really concerned about, and found a way for customers to really categorize these complaints in the back end of McDonald's. Finally, with clustering analysis, we grouped different customers together through their textual behaviors to arrive on three major clusters. First, digital, then product purchasing, and finally, McDonald's. And with that, thank you guys so much for listening to my presentation. I'll be open to questions.